Hey everybody, how you doing? Lazarus here, and welcome back to Ascension of the Technomancer. We are running version 4.11. Big update. Took me a quite a fair amount of time to make this happen. So uh, we're not doing the usual intro here, just because I want to take a moment to talk about what has changed, what is new, and uh, what we're going to do for this episode. So, for starters, what has changed? Um, well, several new mods have been added. Uh, the rest of Rika's mods are now in here, minus Electrocraft. So we have Rotary Craft, and we have Reactor Craft. So you have now have the ability to generate lots of power, and potentially turn large amounts of your world into a radioactive wasteland where nothing can survive. So you guys, enjoy that. I know I will. But, um, yeah, also Rotary Craft is just it's a mod that is very rich, complex, and a lot to it. And I know nothing about it, so I think it would be a cool thing to do. Next, uh, you'll probably notice, well, something familiar. You'll notice this. Don't get your hopes up too high. Yeah, we all know what this is. This is the Tinker's Construct inventory panel. The main reason that Tinker's is in here is for these. There was previously an HP upgrade mod called Hearts. It added like an HP upgrade and a damage upgrade. And um, yeah, they were super rare and hard to craft and generally didn't like how the whole mod was organized. So Tinkers provides a nice layered mechanic for upgrading your health. So you can get heart canisters. There are ways to make them. They don't even involve the smeltery, although we may use... The smeltery will probably exist at some point in the future. It's just right now. I've been working on this pack, this change for so long, I don't want to deal with balancing in the smeltery. But that will probably exist, but no tools. Sorry, no Tinker's tools. It kind of goes against... It. You, you'll, you'll only ever use Tinker's tools. Nothing else in the pack of, if, like that you hold in your hands will be useful. Everything will be invalidated. So that's why. There are reasons for Also, drawbridges... Uh, I wanted them very badly. Nothing really replicates that functionality. So those are the main things that are in the pack. Also, there was a, um, a bug I noticed with certain custom Thomcraft recipes just not showing up in NAI. They exist. You could make them if you knew what they were. But they would never show up in NAI because the regular Thomcraft NAI plugin... It reveals the recipes to you as you progress, so as you unlock things in the Thaumonomicon, you'll be able to see the recipes in NEI. Well, that's great and all, but these recipes don't exist in the Thaumonomicon. They are all custom, so sometimes they show up, sometimes they don't. It was really weird, so now there's another, another, there's, the original one wasn't pulled out, but there's also Thaumic NEI, which was put in. And um, so you'll have the two of them. You'll be able to see the recipes. If you hear noises in the background here, like shuffling noises, that's the other new thing, which has nothing to do with this pack. But um, I acquired a pair of guinea pigs this weekend. So Mordecai and Rigby are my new guinea pigs. They're quite young, so I don't know if they can easily be grabbed right now. Um, if you can grab them, sweetie, could you? I mean, you can try and grab one of them. If you're busy, we can do it after as well. Yeah, you can have, have your food. We'll try later. They're very young, so I don't really know. Like Grabbing them will be kind of difficult. Also, you won't be able to see all that well on the camera, but in an episode soon, we will do that. We'll, I'll definitely show off the, the new little fuzzies. They're awesome. But um, So today, what are we going to do? Well, we're going to dig into Rotary Craft a little bit. Now, I, I haven't prepared really at, at all. I haven't prepared at all. Uh, well, I guess I uh, opened up this room here. So we're going to just do it in here. We're going to make the book. We're going to look at the book and read it. And we're going to see what we need to do to get started. Now, we're probably not going to pursue it too much after today. We'll put that, probably shelve it to focus on, you know, regular, um, more, more um, so some of the things we were focusing on previously, just so that, um, you know, we can continue progressing. Oh, yeah, one more thing here. Uh, let's just go over here and do this nice little thing here. You can grab your table and you can do that. Very nice. I'm sure you've all missed that. Do we not have sound? I feel like sound may be screwy here. Hold on. No, it's just my headphones, actually, I think. Let's uh, let's turn up the game audio a little bit here. I think it's just very quiet. Yeah, game audio is just really, really quiet. There's the problem. Problem solved. 
Nice. Much better. That's good. I didn't want to have to cut the video and start fucking with that stuff. So, Rotorcraft Handbook. How do you make it? Because you don't start with the book. I don't start you with any of the books. Starting with, like, 50 books in your inventory annoys the shit out of me. So that's, that's why. I don't know if you feel the same way. If you don't, I apologize. So, Rotorcraft Manual. Here we go. Let's see. Oh, we got Woofies outside. I fucking hate them. I hate them so much. It's okay. The pigs are loose again. Yeah, they are. Oh, they're all just fucking swarming out. Goblin, what are you doing? You just fucking phase through the walls here. Hold on. We're going to go with a quick fix. Honestly, these animals are going to get moved, like, very, very soon. Oh, we need two. We definitely need two to block the entrance here. So, like, yeah. Pig, you know... There, for now. Uh, we need to sleep. Actually, I think I have my lasso on me. We'll just gather them up real quick and chuck them back in the pen. Uh, do, do, do. There are definite fireworks going off in the background. It is 4th of July weekend-ish thing. That's not really much of a long weekend, because I had to work on Monday. So they kind of... I, I think it's un-American. You know, okay, yeah, great. So the 4th of July is on Tuesday. Why don't we celebrate it on the 3rd of July? So that everybody can have a long weekend. Isn't that what our forefathers would have wanted? Everybody have a long weekend? I don't, I don't see why they wouldn't. I mean, who would not want that? Everybody wants that. It's a pretty, uh, pretty universal thing. So, I, I don't get it. But it's shitty. Oh my god, pig, you're not a sheep. What is wrong with you? Maybe you think that the pigs are just uncouth and uncivilized here. I mean, these aren't, these are the bad kind of pigs. These, well, I mean, they're not the worst pigs, but they're certainly not the good kind of pigs, like the guinea pigs, that, which are next to me. These are just fucking regular pigs. These pigs, I don't know, like, why this is the pen that always gets broken open, but it is. And these guys just spill out like mad, and I'm real sick of it. But we're going to move these guys further away from the base, just to sort of cut down on lag. And help to expand our territory as well. So they're going to go live over there in that redwood forest. Like right right where you see those redwood trees, like a little bit before that is going to be where the animal pens are going to go. We'll probably have like a barn over there or something. We'll, we'll build some stuff. It'll be fun. We might even, we might even have like a building episode, do it on camera. I'll move the animals over off camera because that's just going to be tedious as hell. I'm going to make a bunch of the temporary safari balls and just sort of scoop them all up, throw them in a bag, and, like, drag them over there. Did we get them all? Is this is the bullshit over for now? Yeah. It's always the pig pen that gets broken. It's not even worth fixing because they're getting moved. But, yeah, it's always that one, and I, I don't get it. I mean, I would expect that they would get broken equally. Okay. We're good now. Let's go in and start digging into this shit and see what's up. So, oh, I did look for more, um, like, more exploration content as well, but the, uh, the 128 sub-biome bug has struck again. Not really affecting the pack, but a lot of these other mods, like, I looked at the Erebus and the Betweenlands, and they both have a requirement where you gotta put their biomes in the lower 128, which is fine, because that's what I was doing to protect against the 128 sub-biome bug. But they allocate sub-biomes by adding 128 to the values that you have given. So unless you built everything around this to begin with, and you probably would never have room for biomes of plenty if you did, you're fucked. You can't add it in. So I can't use the free slots I have to put in more stuff. But uh, we are running with the Advent of Ascension 2.5 snapshot. So there are several more AOA dimensions, and there are several new biomes in the existing ones. So that should be interesting. Uh, it doesn't default to having any um, any special mobs that spawn in those areas, but that doesn't mean I can't do it. I certainly can, and I may, but I don't feel like fighting with that anymore. Again, I've been working on this for a while, and I just want to like get everything clear. I did send another message out to Rika just to make sure that I'm authorized to post these two new mods as well. Just dot the you know dot the T's and cross the I's and such, but yeah. I just want to get this out to you and get keep things moving, because, like God, I've been doing this for way too long. So, all right, basic terms. Let's learn about stuff here. I hope you don't mind, because we're going to be doing a lot... We're going to be looking at this book for a lot of this episode. But, hey, if you've never done this mod before, this is a great time to learn. I hear it's really cool. 
So got a um, couple of measurements here, watts, kilowatts, megawatts. It's a unit of power, energy per unit time. One watt is equal to one joule per second. Good to know. I remember physics-ish. Mostly particle physics, not so much kinematics. That kind of all blacked out of my head. But um, yeah, newton meters, a unit of torque, force times distance. All right, simple enough. Radi rads per second, radians per second, it's a unit of angular rotation. So, I mean, if you've done degrees, radians are different than degrees, but they're like degrees, and I don't remember exactly what they are. One rad per second is 9.55 rotations per minute. Okay, radians. A oh, wait, it's 180 over pi. That is a radian. So, one radian is 180 divided by pi, so 53.7 degrees. There are 6.28 radians in a full circle. Sounds and muffling. I feel like this is not the page we should be on. Relevant physics. There we go. Yeah, I think this will go to the next chapter. We want to go through all these here to start with. So, relevant physics. We have some swirly lines. Oh, this is the speed. So, one radian per second, two radians per second, and four radians per second. Distance, you got force going this way, distance, this is torque, this vectors, math, possibly science, maybe several there may be there may be several sciences in this episode, so I hope you're you're prepared for that. So torque is the strength of a turn. Greater torques can exert greater loads. Therefore, a machine that requires more force to operate, such as the compactor, will naturally require more torque than one like the woodcutter. Angular velocity is the rotational speed. For example, a machine that mixes things quickly, such as the fractionator, will require greater angular velocity than one which mixes them more slowly, like the fermenter. Okay, so torque is strength, and you know you got speed and torque. So you got how fast it spins and how hard it's actually spinning. Good to know. Material properties. Different materials have different strengths, which controls the shafts. Oh yeah, shafts. This mod's all about shaft power. Big, long, thick, strong shafts. Shafts. Penis. Moving on. Hopefully, I don't think I'm going to be able to maintain any sort of professional demeanor with the shaft written in this book so many times. But yeah, shafts and flywheels will, which different material strengths depends on when shafts and flywheels will fail. Flywheels fail based on the density and tensile strength, while shafts can fail from tensile or shear overload. So here we got some measurements for wood, stone, iron, steel. Not every other kind of steel. This is special steel. This is HSLA steel because it doesn't want you. you don't ordict them. They're not ordicted because uh, didn't he doesn't that kind of breaks his progression. And frankly, it's easier to get rotary craft steel than it is to get the main kind of steel in the pack. So if I made it so it was a one-way dependency, it would be very easy to get your first steel. And that's not what I want. That's your first main challenge. So, okay, cool. So shaft load limits. There are load limits for the shafts and gearboxes. Exceeding these will result in breakage, which sounds like a bad thing. For a gearbox, both the input and output speeds and torques must be considered. So here we have some more force limits. I mean, we're going to be building things probably out of stone at first, or maybe steel. We have plenty of iron, so we can just go right to steel if possible. Flywheels. Uh, if you're not familiar what a flywheel is, it's a big heavy disc that you can spin up, and it's got low friction bearings so that it will hold rotational energy until it, and, you know, it inevitably will spin down, but these are a real thing, and they do actually store rotational energy. And then you can tap that later. They're, the whole point is that they're, like, heavy, so that you get them spinning fast, and there's a lot of kinetic energy in them. So that's a flywheel. Uh, basics of power transfer. Shaft power behaves completely differently than electrical, pneumatic, and other traditional kinds of power. For example, shaft power is not true power. Is is true power. Shaft power is true power. It's good for thrusting, even though this mod has nothing to do with thrusting. It's spinning, really, more so. Shaft. I can't, I can't get it out of my head, dude. <laughs> Okay, it's not energy, and so it's not build up in machines or shafts with no output. Therefore, it must be used immediately upon its creation. Furthermore, the load on a shaft has no effect on its power consumption. A disconnected shaft still draws any and all power given to it, but it simply wastes it. This is unlike a wire, where disconnecting the outputs would redirect that power into the remaining outputs. Okay, makes sense. Machine tiers. Uh, there's a bunch of them. <laughs> a boring machine. Pulse jet furnace, player detector. It's just some random shit here. It's just stuff. Do we click on... I mean, I think we can click on these, but, like, why? I want to go through the book in sort of a... as coherent of a fashion as possible, because we got to get through this beginning stuff to know what is up. 
So not all machines are created equal. Some are much more difficult to operate than others. A good metric of the relevant of the relative position of a machine in the tech tree is its power requirement, if applicable. There are exceptions to this rule, and of course, different play styles can be different paths to take, but it's generally recommended to be aware of this hierarchy, and also note that a zero minimum only means that there is no minimum cutoff, and that the effects of increased power are more complex. Duration time. Machines which perform discrete operations often take less time per operation as the input speed increases. Hover over a machine to get the timing data. The x in these formulas is the input speed, and the times are in ticks. So time is log, 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 is that log base 2? Oh god, oh god. Yeah, pig, I know. You, 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 don't, you, don't, you don't math. You're probably intimidated as well, aren't you, those guys? Yeah, I didn't know it was going to be this much math. Natural, natural logs now. Sounds muffling. Like, how did we get to here? Oh, many machines make significant amounts of noise as a side effect of their operation. Fucking thermodynamics. This is especially true for engines or anything performing combustion reactions. To help reduce the noise, it's possible to put an arch of wool or similar cover over the top and sides of the machine. Should space not permit this, it's also possible to place it above and below. Interdimensional power transport. Just jumping right ahead with that. So, shafts will function if stuck through portals, provided that the portals are in the same location, accounting for different scaling between some dimensions, and the directionality of the shafts is correct. Both sides must also be chunk-loaded. This works with the nether, end, twilight forest. How do you get through an end portal? That's going to be a pain in the ass. you got to thrust your shaft straight down to the end. Deep into the end. <laughs> I'm enjoying myself thoroughly reading this. Uh, also, Twilight Forest and Miscraft portals. However, we don't have Miscraft. We have RF Tools, which has a teleporter block. So, maybe a working advent of Ascension Dimensions. I don't know how useful that would really be. Probably not very. Maybe. Who knows? Uh, some important notes. Important notes on operating some machines and some essential tools. Uh, lubricant. Oh, yeah, you got to keep your shaft well lubed all the time. So, most inline gearboxes need to be lubricated to maintain their, ability, maintain their ability to transmit power. Operated without lubricant, they will gradually wear down and transmit less and less torque, and thus less power. To keep them lubricated, simply run a line of lubricant hose from a grinder to the gearbox. Oh shit, we're going to need canola. I know that's a thing, so we can make lube. So, it's probably going to be our first main objective, is to make some of this special steel and some lube. So, yeah, that's the next step here. This is um, canola, otherwise known as the rapeseed. <laughs> oh my god this is a hot mess <laughs> hot moist well lubed mess of shafts <laughs> find some canola seeds in tall grass and plant them on farmland and watch them grow I don't know if we need to, I would assume we're going to need that it supports agricraft I, I hope so I think agricraft kind of like seizes control but Reich is pretty good about not letting anyone touch his content like you know physically and programmatically so whether or not these work with agricraft who the fuck knows So we're going to need some of that, probably. Uh, enchanting machines, screwdrivers, so you can enchant the machines. Intermodal interactions. Can we go back to, like, basics? Like, is this... Does it have a tutorial? Any sort of tutorial? Steel purifier. I mean, the very first thing we need is not that. The very, that's, It's not that, either. It's definitely need none of those. None of those are the things we first need. Engines. Power supply. DC electric engine is probably a thing that we need. I do not know where to begin. This book, although instructive, is not really a tutorial. I probably should have prepared for that. Uh, engines. Maybe there's something good in here. DC, I mean, this is probably our first engine here, is the DC electric engine. It is the simplest to make and operate, and all it requires function. So we have a freaking blast furnace, for starters. We need a rotary craft blast furnace. How do we make that production? Here we go. Blast furnace. Oh, and a work table. We need that, too. Uh, that's a thing. And we should get some canola. So here's some stuff we can do. So we need stone bricks and redstone to make a blast furnace. Let's do that. Oh, actually doing the research. We get an achievement because we actually read the book as opposed to just complaining on a forum somewhere. Isn't that nice? So give me eight of these. Eight. Blah, blah. Yeah, just not drop that down. Give me one of these. Here we go. And for right now, I, I made space in that back room. Sorry about the blue line going back through there. 
Like, it's outside somewhere, because I, I pulled the torch up so that this one wouldn't be active. I don't want to rip them all up, because I still need... We're still going to do stuff with that. Uh, railcraft stuff, specifically. I don't know if I told you that in the last episode. But the whole point is to start running rail lines for better automation. So here we go. We have a rotorcraft blast furnace. Isn't that nice? Sweet. Well, let's just freaking put this down somewhere. Like here. I don't know. Or here. Probably here. I hear a bird ball. So this takes... I mean, we need charcoal. Maybe coal. Probably charcoal is fine. Iron. And gunpowder. I know it takes gunpowder. That's a thing that we need to provide for it. There's a creeper outside here. Or we're going to go kill it real quick. Because I'm real sketched out about explosions. Due to the recently high number of explosions. I mean, look at this. It's all still all fucked up. I haven't fixed it yet. Because I've just been working on the, the pack. So we're going to, like, freaking just, just bum rush this dude. Fuck you, creeper. Fuck you and your creeping. Fuck you. Also, we'll, we'll kill those dogs. I bet you that thing's out of, um, I bet you it's out of fertilizer. I should probably fill this hole in, huh? And there's a better way to get here. But right now it's convenient. Eh, it's fertilizer. I don't know. It's full of trees. I mean, cut the fucking trees down. What are you doing? What, what is wrong with this, actually? Let's just take a moment. Let's take a moment to figure out where the major malfunction is. I found it. I found the uh, our dilemma here is that it's all jammed the fuck up, and this is just everything. Everything is just all jammed up. So we need to upgrade this furnace here. Get these saplings. Get in there. Ah, oh, this thing needs to be upgraded too. Well, in the meantime, let's grab all this shit and put it in here. I can't even figure out my goddamn keyboard here. Hold on. There we go. Grab that. Next. Grab these. Oh, could you? What did? What was that all about? Put that in there. Thank you. And you know, also these. These are useful. We'll leave the rest. Let's go up. Oh, the woofies. I hate them. I hate them so much. When we get into Ender I.O., that's probably going to be the first thing we try and interdict with an interdiction obelisk. Obelisk. The interdicting obelisk. As I, yeah, we'll block the woofies so that we can't have woofies anymore. I don't know if that's going to cause more of other mobs to spawn. I have no idea. I've never really played with interdiction obelisks. But magnum torches are pretty expensive. So let's... This shit goes over here. Meh. So that'll help us rebuild, recoup our uh, massive fuel losses that we suffered recently. Take this. Pig, so much talk down there. I don't know if it's coming through on the camera, on the recording or not, but there's there's some squeaking and some purring and other miscellaneous pig talk. And it's just delightful. I really, I really just appreciate hearing their little fuzzy voices. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. So, give me some um, iron. Uh, I'll take a stack. Gunpowder. I'll also take a stack. Actually, can I put more than one stack of iron in there? Maybe we'll make two stacks worth of this stuff. That's cool. And then we'll need some um, some charcoal. Look at this. I don't need that anymore. Oh, it's already getting hot in here. In order to be able to record, I need to turn the uh, fan and air conditioner off. So that's why YouTubers are always complaining about it being hot in the summer, is because it gets loud. Like, cooling the room is loud. Oh, yeah, we can put a ton of shit in here, can't we? No? Can, can you? What? Yeah, put it in there. Uh, we can put several of this in here, right? No? Uh, that goes in there. Do we need to heat this manually? Uh, book. We need the book. Book. More book. So, alright. Production. Blast furnace. So, the blast furnace is the main way to make steel, or sim simply supply carbon in the form of coal or coke. Okay. So we do need coal or coke, not charcoal, I guess. 
Let's get it working without first. I fortunately have some right here, and we'll, we'll just use the cold coke. Uh, carbon? There's your carbon. Are you happy? You are not happy yet. Let's keep reading. Maybe read the whole thing first. Would be a way to go. I don't know. That's just not how I roll. I like to ad hoc shit. So, I want to call a coke. Or, oh, wait. Oh, there's just more, more, more words. I was hoping you'd show me a picture. Can I have a picture? That'd be easier than reading all this. Okay, so simply supply carbon at the left, gunpowder at the bottom left, and sand in the top left. So we need sand, and then you fill in the rest with iron ingots. So all right, we have we can test it with charcoal too. So the missing ingredient here is sand. I don't know why sand is involved, but it is. So just give me some snad. Give me a stack of snad, please. Yeah. Hot, fresh snad. It's going to be all fucking itchy and chafy on your shaft. Lube or no lube, it's going to be chafy. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's the heat. It's getting to my brain. Oh, it's the heat and all the shafts. So you go here. I mean... Carbon in the left. Metal. Gunpowder. Bottom left. Snad. Top left. What else do you want, man? What else, what else could you possibly need? So blah, 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 blah. Fill in... So, yeah. Coal or coke? At left. Gunpowder? At the bottom left. Snad? Top left. Fill in any or all of the middle nine slots with iron ingots. Heat the machine to 600 degrees centigrade. Okay, so it does not heat itself. That is just to provide carbon, not fuel. So, what we are going to do is we're going to try not to hurt ourselves because of Greg Tech, and we're going to throw some lava under it. And that should be fine, right? That's fine. I mean, there's nothing flammable in here, probably. Everything's cool. It's all good. Don't worry about it. So, uh, buckets. I might just dump the bucket I have and use that. Can I bucket shit right out of a drum? Maybe? Let's find out. So we'll just dump it in our bag immediately, because that is the universal Minecraft trick right there for modded Minecraft, is if there's something you can't hold in your inventory, for some reason or another, just throw it in a bag and it doesn't exist. Yep, that works. Get that out of here. Good. There we go. See? Safe. It's in my backpack now. As long as the lava is in your backpack, you're fine. So let's just bust this out. And it's here. And... I, uh... Concrete. There's that. And uh, concrete to here. I assume this will make you hot. Uh, it's heating up. I mean, there's that. I don't know how hot lava is. But I also don't know what else we would do to heat this thing up. I mean, later on, there's a frictional heater that you can use to generate heat. Maybe you can put that next to the blast furnace. But you need the steel to make it. So we're kind of at uh, a little bit of a loss until then. You know what, can I just, give me all this. Give me all this back, and we're going to distribute it evenly. I don't know if that makes a difference. We'll find out. And then just kind of scoot all this shit over here. I'll put two more up there. So this is going to heat up now. Lovely. Uh, I'm curious if this will work. Well, we're going to try it. Here's, I don't know, fucking put this on... See, this is a good thing now, is that we just, like, shove shit in here and just, just stay there. You can, like, just put it on the table. And things stay on the table. Another huge nicety of tinkers. Okay, what are we doing next here? Uh, we need to get a little further than this. I can't be failing this hard this soon. So we're probably going to need lube. Work table. We need a work table. We need the steel to make the work table. That's the thing. Every single thing for rotary craft and reactor craft pretty much is made in the work table. And not in vanilla crafting grids. So, there you go. They've got some extra functionality. And I think the um, crafting tweaks, tweaks works for this. 
So the work table is the crafting grid on which all machines must be crafted with the exception of the blast furnace and the work table itself, obviously. Simply use it as an ordinary crafting to simply use it as an ordinary crafting table. To actually craft the products, give it a redstone signal or click the item in the right hand side so it does auto craft. Workbench is also to recharge spring powered tools. Simply put a new spring and the tool in the left slot and take the products from the right. Unlike a crafting table, the work ta workbench stores all its contents. Yeah, unlike, you know, you know, every other crafting table in every single mod does that. It's just the fucking vanilla one that doesn't do that. I don't know if that's been fixed in like 112 or something. So I hope this thing is getting hot because, like, we're kind of stuck until this thing makes its shit happen. No, it's going to take its time. You're going to take your time, huh? Info. Oh, it does give you info. I. This has got to be how you heat it, right? Like, we can't make anything else from the mod, so I can only imagine that lava is the way to heat it. Lava is also the way you make the steam engines work for it. You put lava blocks underneath them. Now, shit can go horribly awry when you overheat things, and you like cooling fins and stuff. Let's get the rest of the components for this thing. And, oh, let's sleep. We'll sleep, and then we're going to go try and grab some rape seeds. At canola. Now, I don't think we need lubricant really to get started. I think that's some slightly further along initial stuff. I don't think needs it. I can, I can move my character with my left hand and smoke with my right Oh, Jesus. Stop it. Stop it. What the fuck? God damn it. You're, now you're interrupting my smoking. Why? Why? Just why? What an asshole, huh? Oh, we should, um, we probably need more fuel in our dynamos here. We do. Let's see how our ethanol is doing. Ethanol. Eight buckets. Not great. We have, sev we have severe need to automate the fuel input to those dynamos, and preferably to be able to control them manually so I could shut them off. I mean, there's so much to do still. We're we're like we're nowhere in this pack. I mean, I know we made a lot of progress, but we are fucking nowhere compared to the content. Look at the batteries are all fucking empty. Ugh, it's just you. It's just this thing chugging along. This thing's a trooper, and I found it for free. It's pretty cool. But yeah, so that thing. Let's try and get some some rapey seeds. Soul agent, huh? I don't I don't even know what you sell. I don't want it. I don't care. Right now, I'll care later. We'll care about Advent of Ascension shortly. Maybe get into like some rune crafting or something like that. Every other kind of rune, except for the wind runes, is like hard to get, and that is just just plain way out of our range right now. So like, oh you fucker! They're they're just they're everywhere. Canola, any canola seeds? Tell me we have a bug. How could we have? A, I mean, I'm not, I can't even control these things. I don't see how we could have a bug. I can't turn them on or off. Industrial hemp seeds, potato seeds. I mean, we've only got five seeds, so let's go across there to the um, the what's its face, the the savanna. We'll head over there. Piggy, what are you? I hear I hear much pig talk even through my headphones. The pig talk is real. Oh, this is where we did our thing. Look at that. It's still here. And all of the cursed earth has burned away. Are any of you canola seeds? I'm pretty sure sooner rather than later we're going to find a spriggan. Hopefully we'll find canola seeds first. What's that? Is that canola seeds? They look like potato seeds. Get out of here. Seeds. I need seeds. Fucking bullshit. None of your canola seeds. Wow, I mean, a bug. I don't know how we could possibly have a bug. Are they just, Jesus Christ, everybody and their brothers are going to show up to kick my ass. Look at this. Get out of here. He's just standing here being stupid. Fine, good. Fuck you. Get out of here. 
I'm trying to find seeds, man. Oh, they're everywhere. Oh. You, there's a spooky buddy on your tail. Creepy fuck. Get out of here. Now we got freaking angry deer. A fucking deer is trying to kill us. Look at that. Uh, and bird ball, of course. Never forget that bird ball is an asshole. I feel like we should have them by now. I do. I feel like we should have them by now. Well, that's something I'm going to have to check. This is not released yet, of course. It's over here. Oh, Pylon, get away from that. It's, that is not... We don't want to be partying over there. We'll break a little bit more. It's not like we've gotten a ton of seeds or anything. Maybe Agricraft is fighting with it? I'm quite surprised, honestly. Quite surprised. Let's look at our book. Let's go up in the tree here and look at our book. And we're looking for resources. Re resources, resources. Info. Next. 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 Here we go. Canola. Find some canola seeds in tall grass and plant them in farmland and watch them grow. When covered in little yellow flowers, the plants are ready to be harvested and will drop seeds. They show the same requirements as wheat in terms of flight level, fly, and blah, 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 blah. Canola plants require lots of water, so do not be surprised if they die on dry farmland. Canola seeds can also be compacted into a dense clump for easy storage, and also they look like that. They're like black speckly seeds. We have clearly not gotten any of them. I wonder if this is an ag if it's something to do with agricraft that's causing this problem. Yeah, I may need to manually add the seeds to agricraft to make shit work right, because we should have gotten some by now, like without a doubt. We'll break a little bit more. I'm kinda surprised we haven't found a friggin' a spriggin'. I mean I, I don't expect this to be biome dependent, this is just seeds, you know, like seeds are pretty universal. You know, any seeds come out of any grass. That's what we've been seeing. I mean, granted... Oh, hey! It worked! We weren't around to see it, but it worked. Did I have the coke in there, or did I have the... the regular, um, the charcoal? Probably had the coke in there. Alright, buddy. Buddies. Fuck off. Out of here. Out of here. Out of here. Out of here. Dick. I mean, it's not, I don't think we'd have to travel to a new new chunks. They're just it's just grass. The drops get rolled on the fly. The the drops are not contained in the grass. Hey, charcoal works. So, boom, there we go. Uh, these seeds, um, canola. This is it gonna give me like a drop rate or something? So yeah, we're cranking this shit out now. Well, let's make our work table. We'll see what else we can make. It goes on. Garden soil, crop produce. This looks pretty agri-crafty. Looks like it works with any soil. Yeah, you can break them apart. Bees. Look at these slippery bees. Oh yeah. Greasy shaft bees. And they grow they show up in dungeon chests, I guess. For the love of God, just show me. I mean I don't want to be digging through fucking dungeon chests to try and find this shit, you know, like you should get it from the grass like normal like nor like normal players do. Okay, we've got some of this. That's that's lovely. So that's fine. Now we know. Uh, also, the trash can. I'd like to get rid of all these other bullshit seeds we have that we don't need. Let's make the work table. Woofy, I don't have time for your fucking bullshit right now. Okay. Uh, wildflowers. I don't. I just don't care. Just get it out of here. Whatever it is. We need more dyes, but like, I, I just. I don't. I do not give. I give no shits. No shits are given here. A headache monster is apparently outside. I heard it. Several woofies. Could you? Oh, I have cookware flying. Flying cookware! That's super weird. Haven't figured out that. Also, uh, uh, my god, they're fucking everywhere. 
the, the flying cookware also everywhere. Weird. There is. You may have noticed a strange world generation bug that happens in the Nether. You'll just find like a like low down to the lava layer. You just find a bunch of random vanilla chests, just like replacing blocks, mostly air, but other blocks too, just <laughs> everywhere. Small region of them, only at low Y levels. It's super duper weird, and it has nothing to do with any changes that have happened in the pack. It'll happen on a clean world. It's freshly spun up. I, I don't know. I couldn't. I can't figure it out. I tried to write. I tried to put a thing on the FTB forums with FTB subreddit, and because it said bug, they're like, "Oh, this is a crash report. We're gonna just bots are gonna block it." I'm like, "This is not a crash report, so it does not go in FTB crashes because there's no crashing." So thank you, bot. But can an admin please put this or tell me if there's a better place to go? If there's like a pack dev subreddit, I'd prefer to go to the main one. So we need slabs. We need redstone. We need some bricks. And a crafting table. So, let's see. Bricks. Uh, we have them. How much bricks do we need? I have already forgotten everything. E literally everything. This. Yeah, so. One bricks, two slabs, one redstone, one crafting table. So, okay. Good. Memory, please don't fail me. Headache monster, please fuck off. Bricks. A redstone. Slabs. Two of these. And a crafting table. Oh, fuck that thing, dude. I can't. I can't deal with it making that noise in my ear. Yeah, I hate you. They're awful. Get out of here. It left me some of those fruit slice things. That's what I assume those drops are. You know, like those candy fruit slice things? They're like, they're like jelly candies, and they're covered with like sugar crystals. That's what I figure that thing's drops are. I think that's a pretty reasonable assessment. Okay, so we got this, we got this, we got this, we got this. We need two steel. Ah, let's go whip this shit up here, and then we'll have our work table. So that's cool. And then we'll see what else we can make. Maybe we can make something else. Preferably an actual freaking item from the mod that does a thing would be good. You know, just... So I feel a little bit more accomplished. So this is here. Uh, this goes here. And these go here. And then some bricks. And a crafting state. Ta crafting table. Yeah, there we go. Work table. Constructive. Very constructive, huh? Super duper constructive. So I... Right there. What are we doing next? Um, machines. Production. I mean, what is next? Fermenter? What does this do? That's for ethanol. Fractionation. Is f okay, yeah, this is a little bit further along. Bedrock breaker. Much further along. I don't think we're ready for any of this shit yet. We kind of need to get a canola farm going. But maybe we can just try and do something like a... Like a we'll make a frictional heater or something. I don't know how useful it is. We'll make a DC engine. So, shaft units, base panels, and more steel. And redstone. There's so much squeaking down there. So, it's the simplest to make and operate. All requires to function is a continuous redstone signal of any strength. Ease comes to the cost, though, is the weakest of all. Okay, so. Do we need these base panels, a shaft unit, and some steel? And some redstone. Just give me a stack of redstone. That seems like it's going to keep coming up. The woofies are back. The woofies are forever. It's nighttime. I think we'll skip the sleep right now just because. So I want to keep this keep this show on the road. Let's dump some more um, fuel into our dynamos just because I'm sure they're running low already. I still haven't patched that hole in the wall. Oh my god, they are fucking spent already. Look at that. They do have the um, upgrades in them, so they'll make their power faster. But like, yeah, we need—I don't know—we need a ton of things. We just need all. Of, we need all of the things. Give me one more. I just gotta—I want to get these things, like, get the batteries charged at least, because we are constantly drawing power now. Like, that's the main change that we've made to the base, is that this trying to produce this ethanol here for future growth. We are now constantly drawing RF. 
this manual process is just unacceptably shitty. There's so much mob ruckus going on out here in the endless darkness. I don't even know what that... That's just a woofy. It's just a woofy. Dire woofy. Yep. Fuck you. Out of here. You too. Bye. Alright, cool. So, four steel, a steel rod or a shaft unit, and a couple base panels. I'm gonna just go with they're probably all simple recipes involving the steel ingots. I stop that. So let's see, if I was gonna make a... No? Alright, uh, we'll look them up, that's fine. So, our basic thingies, 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 bedrock hoe. Shaft unit, that's what we need. It's three, you get six. Well, that's pretty reasonable. Boop, boop, boop. This is not in a work table. Yeah, regular crafting table. I guess it doesn't work there. I thought you could use that for anything. Oh, well. There we go. Base panel. Base panel. Pretty simple. So, let's do... It was like this. Like this. There were these. Maybe two redstones. There we go, two redstones. Boop. Oh, it made a sound and everything. Listen to that. That's freaking crazy. Uh, let's dump this in here. Let's reload that back up. At least say, like, just right over here. There's even a redstone torch stuck to the wall, so we can just use that to power this. We're just playing with stuff here. None of this is at all permanent. It's just to experiment with this. Ooh, look at the block. This is like a big square. So that's cool. Let's turn it on. Look at it go. Look at that shaft. Not a very powerful shaft, but there it is. Let's give it the phallic view. So yeah, just so we actually accomplish something, I know what the frictional heater is. I'm going to be watching Let's Plays tonight to try and learn this mod, because, like, good lord, it's vast. It has a lot of shit we can use to protect the base. A lot of stuff you can use for auto defenses, which is very attractive. And then, we also we have that crag biome. And we will put our like our very very dangerous nuclear reactors in there. So whenever something inevitably goes horribly fucking wrong, at least we don't poison this area. It's like oh yay I fucked up the barren rock wasteland. <laughs> Whatever. Also just so you know, um, from my opinion and Brika's opinion, if you're going to use reactor craft, and I advise you do because it's a part of the content. No cheating with nuclear waste. I know you can destroy it using various mods. You're not supposed to. Also, don't throw it in the void. It will not despawn. It will sit there at the bottom of the map and be an entity forever. That's much worse. So don't do that. But use the mechanics that you have to store it indefinitely and keep it cool and do all the legit things that you're supposed to because otherwise, it's cheating. I can't stop you from cheating. He can't stop you from cheating. But, you know, if you really you play along with the spirit of the pack, don't cheat, you know? So we're not going to do any of that kind of cheating when we get to that point. We're, uh, we're a ways off, but we're a ways off from everything serious. I don't know, we've, we've accomplished some stuff, though. But, uh, yeah, I'm rambling. Frictional heater, uh, not engines, not transmission, although maybe we'll make a gearbox, just run it through that as well. Processing? Grinder, extractor, pulse jet furnace, like, anything. I don't want to do anything that requires canola, which is a lot of things, but the frictional heater doesn't. I think it's like gear gearboxes, I think, require lubricant. Accessories? Fuck it, I'll go in here. Frictional heater. Uh, okay. I spell not good. Excuse me, two things. Frictional heater, frictional boiler. Intriguing. We just want this. It literally just... I need uh, 8.1 kilowatt hours and 32 newton meters of torque. 
So the power, I mean, this mod makes a lot of power. Uh, one thing you'll notice is that Electrocraft was not included. There are ways you can get power out to RF, which is what you should do. But um, the re there's a reason for that. And it's that the RF battery stores 60 trillion RF in it. And it doesn't involve anything super exotic to get. So, like, that's like a draconic energy core of the max tier in 1710. In a single block, pretty damn easy to make. I can't abide by that. The dude does not abide. So, no electric craft, unfortunately. Also, the wires are dirt fucking cheap. Oh, yeah, we gotta do it in here. Does this work? Please tell me that this works. It works. Okay. So, that's a plus. So, now, we take this, and we stick it here. Uh, do you... Do you not... I feel like you broke. You're not working because you're definitely not working. Can, do I need to wrench this? Active tool is a pickaxe. Okay. So yeah, at least that it's got pickaxe. At least you filled in the effective tools so that your Greg Tech tools will work on them. I'm trying to find a way to fix that. Whatever fixed means, I don't know if it's possible. It's annoying though, and I, I feel your pain. So, let's try. we got a few more things we want to hit here. So, maybe we need uh, a shaft. We probably need a shaft. I mean, this whole thing's all about shafts. So, we'll do a steel rod, a shaft unit. We'll do a shaft unit and a mount. <laughs> Mounts. Mount, mount the shaft. You have to mount the shaft. It's super funny. Sorry. So, what is this made of? Okay, steel and a base plate. And then we put a shaft in it. Lovely. Do you get made in here? Okay, get, this, get the fuck out of here. Oh, all of our stuff is actually in there. I see. Okay, uh, this, we need to make the mount first. There is so much pig talk down there. Wow. I mean, we might as well use this stuff, as opposed to... I guess you can use tin as well, as long as you have the base plate. No, okay. Regular crafting table, maybe? It's a little confusing how we have to keep going back and forth between the two. Like, why can't I just make at least all rotary craft stuff in there? I know all machines. I guess that's the designation. If it's a completed machine, you make it in there. Does does a, um, a shaft count? If we put a shaft in here? Yeah, it's not. Yeah, it does. Oh, you get fucking eight of them. Okay. So we get eight of these steel shafts. God, why would you even bother making the shitty ones? I mean, I guess it's to conserve materials, but... You know, we, we have a fair amount of iron. Okay, uh, I need a screwdriver, I think. The shaft is spinning. So that works. That there. I can't help but feel like you're just not working. You're not, you're not cooperating with me, game. Also, this needs a furnace, too. We need a furnace. So let's go get a furnace. We'll make another one. This is just to experiment, you know? We're just, we're just playing around right now. Nothing particularly serious or prog progression related, so we just need a furnace. Just give me eight of these. I don't even want to type in the freaking recipe. I'll just do it here. You know, I've got several complaints for how this this interface actually functions. I know the Ender IO inventory panel is better. We'll probably end up cons having like a sort of uh, several things. Okay, book, please book. Um, let's see if we can find it in here. Refrigeration unit. Mm -hmm. That's neat. Sure, accessories. And that object, yeah, frictional heater. Okay, frictional heater is a tool to warm up a standard furnace without fuel. Higher torques and speeds mean higher temperatures. Like where spend too long at high temperatures, and you can melt the furnace entirely. So that's great. Just dump a block of lava in your base. Awesome. It's just like I want. Also of note is that higher temperatures can speed up the furnace operation. A hot furnace is also the only way to smelt tungsten flakes into tungsten ingots. Note that while temperature is ultimately a function of input power, matching the torque and speed will improve efficiency. How do I fucking plug it in? Do I gotta put shit in there to smelt? Will that, will that make things happen? Because you are not spinning at all. You are not doing things. 
Let's get something we can try and cook. I don't know. Let's. Oh, we can't cook charcoal. That's right. Just give me some ore of some kind. Preferably of a not. Yeah, there we go. Seven silver ore. I don't care about doubling it. This is just for testing. Put this in here. And it should make a really icky, nasty, grindy noise when it works. It's not working. Uh, let's make a screwdriver. I mean, yeah, the episode is getting kind of long, so we probably will have to give up soon. And I'll have to retire to, like, sort my shit out. So, alright, a steel, a stick, and a wood. And then we'll make a screwdriver. Different than the uh, different than the Greg Tech screwdriver, or any other mod that adds a screwdriver. This is a special screwdriver. It's pretty much a wrench, honestly. I don't know why it just isn't a wrench. Couldn't have just used a wrench? We already kind of have a standard for machine. Maybe, eh, maybe it's a little different in behavior than a wrench, actually. Uh, stick. Can I have a stick? Stick, please. Stick. Just one. Thank you. I right, good. Okay. And we just... Boop, boop, boop. Grab that. So, I feel not particularly successful at this so far. I know it's kind of a tricky mod. Okay, it's a very tricky... What are these little dots? Ball bearings. Okay, that makes sense. Little dots, man. Little, little like, purplish dots. Screwdriver. What the fuck do you do? Can I, like, click you? I feel like that's... I mean... Okay, that is decidedly wrench behavior. Operational, I mean... This does not look operational in the slightest. Well, shit. Alright. It's hot as balls in here. I hate to give up like this. You know I do. I would normally cut the video, but I really gotta get the air conditioner back on right now. And honestly, the quantity of research and the canola thing, we gotta get this sorted out. I bet you it's the restrictions I put on the grass that is blocking it. So saying that only certain things can come out of grass might... I, I don't remember how I did it, but there might be an exclusion that's blocking it, which surprises me that that would actually work. I didn't try to. It's just a negative interaction that's happening. But I'm really amazed that just some other... Like, configuring another mod normally could actually break this. But, hey, I'll get it fixed. It's not a big deal. But, um, thank you guys so very much for watching. Obviously, I'll be hard at work trying to get version 4 out into the world. Just waiting on Riker to respond and fix this bug, and I want to play around with it a little bit more, just to make sure that nothing else is like horribly fucked that I should know about before release. So give it another week or two. Um, Three nine thirteen should be available to you now. It got approved like weeks ago, and I've just been really busy, and I didn't realize there was some sort of a. Uh, sometimes I have problems with or if FTB slash me has problems with curse slash twitch and that things will get approved but yep it's cool it's good to go wait 15 minutes for it to sync or whatever and then it will never sync it will never go to curse like they'll just reject it for some fucking stupid ass reasons so then you know i noticed this i'm like hey there's a synchronicity issue i don't know it didn't post and then they go deal with that whatever that means so that update should be available either now or soon i'll keep on that but expect uh, at least another week before the 411. That, that's what version we're running. 411. Probably won't bump the version number again until it gets released. So until version 4 gets out. Probably another week or so. But thank you guys so very much for watching. And if you're liking the series, then please drop me a like or leave a comment. Let me know what's up. Anything you're interested in seeing that we could do in the pack or if you have some ideas. I know I need to Z-target things more. I know you've told me that. I will try. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to know whenever new episodes get posted, then please click the little red subscribe button to get notifications of whenever I release new content. So once again, thank you guys so very much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.